All right, in example three, they want us to determine any points of inflection and discuss concavity of the graph. So since they're talking about concavity, that means second derivative. We'll start by taking the first derivative, and then we will take the derivative again to get our second derivative. We will then create a sign chart using the critical values for our second derivative, and then we will make some decisions about concavity and points of inflection. So let's start. So f prime of x, so differentiating we have via the power rule 4x cubed minus 3 times 4 is 12x squared. We'll set this equal to 0 to solve for f prime critical values. Factoring out a 4x squared, this leaves us with x minus 3 in parentheses and we have x equals 0 and x equals 3. Now let's differentiate this again and that will be our f double prime. So 3 times 4 is 12x squared minus 2 times 12 is 24x. Again setting equal to 0 and factoring out a 12x we are left with x minus 2 in parentheses giving us x equals 0 as a critical value for f double prime and x equals 2. So let's drop those critical values onto our sign chart and let's pick some test numbers that fall into each of these three intervals. So um, let's pick negative 1 uh, between 0 and 2 is 1 and then greater than 2 we'll pick 3. And we're just going to plug into f double prime. So substituting into f double prime um, you know, an easy way to do this is to just plug into your calculator, but uh, we've got this factored. I could just plug into these two products and multiply. So negative 12 is a negative number. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. A negative times a negative is a positive. And so that's going to be the sign of f double prime of x. Plugging in 1, we have 1 times 12 is positive, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, that's negative, positive times a negative is a negative. And finally, plugging in 3, 3 times 12 is positive, 3 minus 2 is positive, and a positive times a positive is a positive. Now what this means is that on the interval from negative infinity to 0, my graph is concave up and it is also concave up from 2 to infinity. It is concave down between 0 and 2. So let's see if we can summarize what we know. So f of x is concave up on the intervals from negative infinity to 0, union 2 to infinity f of x is concave down on 0 to 2. Notice that the concavity changes from up to down across 0. That means that 0 is a point of inflection. Notice it changes from concave down to concave up across 2, so 2 is also a point of inflection. So we have points of inflection at x equals 0, x equals 2.